Hi, I'm Alex Hyde. I'm a clinical director here at Alpha Vet Veterinary Centre and Referrals. Um, so, talking about K-Laser here. So, we've been using the K-Laser therapies now for six or seven years. Um, we started it predominantly as a adjunct to our orthopaedic referral aspect of things. Um, we feel it's a really useful, um, multi-versatile product that can be used in various ways to help a lot of our orthopaedic patients, both post-operatively and also as a long-term management of problems such as osteoarthritis. Um, a lot of our patients, understandably after our orthopaedic procedures, will have a lot of pain, inflammation, edema, swelling, that kind of thing, um, and K-Laser is a really useful um, device for helping with a lot of those. Um, it's really nice and easy to use. Um, one of the other really big benefits, I think, for me is that by being a drug-free option really makes it a lot more applicable to a lot of patients where you don't have that option of using drugs so you can't use them for whatever reason for a specific patient. Um, and from a nursing yeah. point of view, obviously you work closely with the nurses um, using yeah. K-Laser. Yes, so basically we run a lot of nursing clinics um, which are really nice and easy to run. Our nurses run or do all of the organising of that and they do the actual laser therapy sessions themselves. It's nice and easy. The clients form a really good bond with the nurses that do the laser sessions as well. Um, and it's really also, it's a really good way of keeping a track on our orthopedic patients post-operatively as well. So instead of seeing them simply at a sort of 10 day, 12 day post-operative phase, we're seeing them you know, five or six times even before we see that sort of post-operative check. So if there's any little tiny issues or anything that the client wants to discuss, it can be really helpful just to nip those in the bud while they're there. And how far do people travel to come to um, have orthopaedic and then follow on K-Laser cases? Um, so, I mean, we get referrals from probably around the around here, probably 25, 30 miles, I would imagine. Um, but, you know, a lot of these are for general sort of orthopaedic referrals. We do get occasional referrals specifically for K-Laser therapy as well. Um, a lot of these are uh, orthopaedic uh, osteoarthritis, chronic pain management, that kind of problems. Um, yeah, I mean, we use, we use K-Laser for pretty much all of our orthopaedic patients post-operatively um, because there's not really much in the way of contraindications. So. And do you use it for wounds or any other areas outside musculoskeletal? Uh, yeah, absolutely. So we, use, um, we do use K-Laser for a lot of our sort of soft tissue injuries as well, so especially if we've got any slow healing wounds, any infected wounds, any uh, soft tissue surgery flaps, um, axial pattern flaps, that kind of thing. Um, you know, we use it for all sorts of things. And I saw you used it also, interestingly, on some MRSA cases. And, and, and you found it effective <coughs> on that, or? Yeah, so we used one recently on a cat that had a really nasty uh, multi-resistant infection after a pelvic fracture surgery, um, and you know, she recovered really, really nicely after that. Um, so she had K-laser therapy multiple, usually every day, um, while she was hospitalised with us, and you know, she made a really good recovery. And for the OA cases, you do an initial set of treatments, and then how does it work after that? So really it depends on the individual patient and the client. Um, so for our general osteoarthritis patient, we'll generally do a bundle of six sessions over two or three weeks. Um, and then we'll have a recheck with our vet to reassess the patient, see how they're responding to the treatment. And then we will develop a plan specific to that patient. And that can be monthly rechecks with K-laser sessions. Um, sometimes it can be two weekly. It just depends on the individual patient and how they're responding to the treatment. Okay. And as a piece of equipment, then it, it integrates and works well across the whole of the team. Um, and so it utilizes vets, nurses, uh, other members of staff? Yeah, absolutely. So obviously, it, it's the nursing team are probably the biggest backers behind it, and they probably provide us with the most amount of um, manpower behind it. Um, but obviously, the, the vets are key to getting it utilized as well, um, and you know, our reception staff. and. Everybody else is, obviously plays a key role with you know, helping moving things along nicely. Thank you, Thank you very much.